What's up, internet? We're doing a chair review a month this year, and for September, we're doing the TP Racing Grow Good Chair. It's fabric because I wanted to compare it to the fabric of the Muso chair, which we reviewed earlier. If there's anything to the claims that TT Racing's fabric is somehow more breathable than other fabric. But a spoiler alert, it's not fabric is fabric, it will really always be hotter than a mesh chair. What's nice about fabric though is that you have a canvas basically to print designs on them and the quality of the TT Racing aesthetic is very good. There are different colors, sure, and the printing or stitch work is so well done that the colors don't bleed into each other, so you can get distinct designs. There are different textures too, and you can have raised or recessed portions of the chair. TT Racing has licensing deals with a lot of well-known properties, Star Wars, Marvel, different animes, and that's one major attraction of the brand. This is quality merchandise from the box to the welcome message to the quality of the chair itself. Everything about it appeals to the fan of whatever universe that merch is from. But as always, you know I'm a fan of getting Windows keys from our sponsor. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated Windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com We always start with the assembly. It was relatively straightforward except for one point. The sticker which shows which is the front also serves as the adhesive for the big welcome message. So what happened to me is that I took off the welcome message but in doing so, I removed the sticker and I didn't know anymore which side was front. I had to compare pictures which I found online to determine which side is supposed to face front and that added to the assembly time. Granted, medyo tanga nga ako for not taking note which side the sticker was pointing to but because the sticker is attached to something which you're really supposed to remove, the welcome message, the natural instinct of people is just to remove it and then after that, you realize, oh wait, teka lang, not only is that sticker holding something, it's also supposed to signify something to me. Unfortunately, it's already too late at that point to try to remember which darn way that sticker was facing. After figuring out which side of the chair is the front, the only remaining major hurdle for me was attaching the backrest. This is really difficult to do kung mag ka lang. You need to wedge it into the armrests. The fit is tight, so it's not a simple slide into position. You need to do it with a little force while all the while trying to keep it aligned properly with the armrests. Once you get past those two points, everything else of the assembly is smooth sailing. How you feel about the build or comfort level of a chair will depend a lot on your personal measurements. For reference, I'm 5'9 and around 140 pounds, and I found this chair to be very plush, very solid, excellent support for your butt. The padding of the upholstery is noticeably thicker than the Muso chair, pero given that the TT Racing is around 50% more expensive than the Muso chair we reviewed earlier, it should be expected that this chair is fuller. It's solid without being too hard, so you can sit on it for long stretches without getting sore. And as mentioned earlier, the artwork design on the chair is nicely done. The fabric itself feels good on your skin. I like that feel of texture, especially on the padded armrests. However, fabric is fabric. 
kahit anong marketing name ibibigay sa fabric, that fabric will always be less breathable than a mesh chair. I did not notice any difference between the breathability of the TT Racing chair and the Muso fabric chair which we reviewed. Among all of the chairs I've reviewed though, this one so far has the best maximum angle for lean back. You can't lie down all the way with it but you can push back to quite a good angle. More than enough for those long stretches you do after hours of work or just the lean backs you do when you want to relax for a second and sink deeper into the chair. At first you might think sure you can lean back far but so what since the TT Racy Grogu chair doesn't have a foot rest. But actually as I was using it I found that I would lean back a lot taking advantage of the leeway the chair was giving me and I never found myself looking for a foot rest. Overall the chair is solid and comfortable. Given that this was close to 8,000 pesos, I would say that this is a solid price for what you're getting. You paid a little on the steep side, but you are getting more compared to cheaper chairs. There are two negative points which cut into my enjoyment of the chair and they do deal with the bottom and the top. For the bottom, my usual sitting position is that I have my feet perched on the legs or wheel frame of the chair. For better ergonomics, I really should have them firmly planted on the ground. Pero wala na, garun lang talaga ako umupo. That's what I find comfortable. Unfortunately, the wheel frame of the TT Racing Grogu has angled legs. So it's a really steep angle, parang, parang ganun siya. Unlike a more common sloping or curved design. The severe angle is quite sharp. So if you rest your feet there, it can feel like the angle is digging or cutting into your foot. Now, I still rest my foot there, yan na talaga yung nakasanayan ko. But because of that angle, doing so is a lot less comfortable compared to other chairs. For the top, I had high hopes for the headrest since I use the headrest portion a lot in other chairs. This chair does not have a separate headrest but the sloping top with its curved position and even distinctive color looked really inviting in pictures. Gusto talaga subukan. Unfortunately, the backrest is too short for me. So instead of supporting my neck when I lean back, that top sloping part cuts into it, cuts into my neck instead of supporting it. When I am not deliberately leaning back for neck support, the top angled cushion sits somewhere in an awkward position, somewhere in what feels like the middle of my shoulder blades. The height of this top is just all wrong for me, and while not a deal breaker, I was disappointed that I wouldn't be getting substantial headdress support as it looked so good, pang bagay na bagay para sa akin in the pictures. And of course, I couldn't go through the negatives without mentioning the abysmal delivery and customer service I experienced with TT Racing. The number you have dialed is either unattended or out of the coverage area. Please try your call later. I have a separate video on it, but just for the recap, they took a really long time to deliver the chair, they did not respond to any of my requests for follow-up. And the only thing that finally worked was I had to dig up their Viber number on their site and message them directly. After messaging them on Viber, that's the only time they acknowledged my existence. Oh hey, we have a customer who paid us weeks ago and we haven't done anything about getting his order over to him. So the chair got delivered in the end, but only because I followed up and followed up in a very specific way. Plus, and this I guess is what really annoyed me, there wasn't a single sorry for all the trouble. Plus, they finally replied to my emails more than a month later, basically saying, what's the trouble? We delivered your chair already. The delivery which only happened because kinulit ko sila through another means other than email. In my earlier video on this, most folks commented that I should have just ordered from their Lazada page instead of what I did which was ordered directly from the TT Racing site. For those who ordered through Laz, they said they didn't encounter any problems. But my response to this is, 
bakit kasalanan ko pa na nag-order ako through their site? Parang, yun nga, customer na nga ako, dumiretso ako sa inyo, kasalanan ko pa for going directly to TT Racing. Since they accept orders through their site, as a customer, I should be able to expect, reasonable naman yun, that my order through their own site should be acted upon. Similarly, if a business gives out their email address and says if there are any problems, you can contact us here, a customer should be able to expect that he will get customer service through that address. But with TT Racing, yung dating sa akin, the customer will get service only if the customer goes through very specific channels. Or basically, kung trip lang ni TT Racing. Sige, yung mga Lazada orders, out natin yung mga yan. Pero yung mga orders from our own site, well, di naman importante yung mga yan. Emails, also not important. Viber messages, sige, pansinin natin yung mga yan because fine, medyo mahirap hanapin yung Viber number natin online. Let's reply where it's less likely that customers will message us. To be fair, the chair is good. A little pricey, but you pay for what you get. Designs and all of the branding are top-notch and feed the fan part of you. That's probably why you would order from TT Racing because they have a lot of branding deals and the chairs look good. The chair was not a perfect fit for my personal measurements, but I acknowledge it might be for some people. And even for me, it was very comfortable and I would not mind using it for extended periods on a daily basis. That said, I just can't get over the terrible customer service. I will not be buying from TT Racing again. I don't think I'm a very demanding customer. You know, I was really kind of just very chill about the entire thing, about the lack of an apology. Parang kasalanan ko pa, nagbumuli ako ng TT Racing. For that attitude, I would rather take my 8,000 pesos elsewhere. Good chair, but not enough to make up for the bad service. Thanks for watching.